Hello, everybody. Let me take this sound thing. There we go. Okay. So, I think it's in focus. Um, okay, so in this video, um, I am going to talk about gerbs. So, what is a gerb? Okay, so we're going to fix, um, so a site. So to do this, this is going to be a site. Um, and uh, so that, that's, that's that. Um, let me see, I have my, my gerb notes here. Okay, so here are my gerb notes. Okay, so, um, okay. So we're going to start with, uh, so F, uh, so this is going to be a fibered category. Again, uh, so, so here, uh, it's going to go from S to the category of categories. So for every open set, we have a category. Um, and then there's these restriction maps, which we, we call the pullback, uh, I star. And uh, for, so it's a contravariant functor, right? And, um, and what else? So, and, and then it has some transition data that, and then you can watch the, the fiber category video. So, okay. So, um, I'm going to make a definition. Okay. Of, of gerby. Gerby. Okay. So, uh, so F is, so the fiber category is gerby. Uh, if and only if it, it satisfies, uh, three properties. Um, so, the first property or the zeroth property, it's uh, it has values and groupoids. Okay, so um, this means that for all u and s, uh, f of u is a groupoid. So this is a category with one object. Uh, uh, sorry, not category with one object. It's a ca it's a category where all the morphisms are inver vertible. Uh, so this is a groupoid. Okay. Uh, the the next property is that um, it there exist sections. Um, so let's say for all U and S, uh, so there exists a cover U I to U uh, I and I uh, in tau of U. Okay. So let's say this is uh, the the collection of distinguished coverings of coverings for the site S. Okay, um, and then uh, okay, such that um, uh, such that uh, f of uh, ui is not empty. Okay, so this is uh, uh, has sections, and then two uh, is that um, uh, it has transitions. So this will be has transitions. Okay, and this says that for all U in S and uh, all A, B in F of U, uh, so there exists a V to U. Okay, so there exists like a inclusion of this word, like the, the open sets on topological space, there'd be a, like a refinement, right? such that, uh, let's say, and now I'm going to write it F U. Okay. This is going to be I of when we pull back I and we pull back B. So this is Hom in the category, uh, F of F, sorry, F of V. Uh, this is Hom in the category F of V is not empty. So that there exists a transition between this one and this one. So these ones are going to be isomorphic. Okay. So, um, that's it. Uh, so uh, a pregerb. So let me give some some definitions. Uh, uh, so a pregerb uh, is a, a gerby pre-stack. Okay. So um, so you can see the stackification video. But in the stackification video, okay, we remember we we defined a pre-stack to be ones where the sheaf sets are for the for the uh, hom sets are sheaves, okay. And so the, finally, um, 
the definition of a gerb, a gerb, so this is a really quick video. A gerb is, um, is a gerby stack. Okay, so uh, it's just a stack that has these properties. Okay, so it has values and groupoids. So, and then, um, and then this is kind of an existence of sections and existence of morphisms here. And, and that's it. So these are really ubiquitous. Um, these are going to come up in, uh, so our, our favorite examples will be like uh, deformation functors. Um, so def underline, let's say from a scheme over A to some other A. So like here, th these functors here will turn out to be gerbs. Um, we're going to have other gerbs of like sections. Um, yeah, and that's, that's it. So that's what a gerb is.